Hi, beautiful. Dyson just launched this brand new $500 straightener slash blow dryer thing. And I want to know if it works. I've seen so much content about it, but like, I just still don't know. I need to actually use this thing and test it out because it looks cool. It seems cool. $500 for some air to flow through some nozzles in a direction on the hair without using too much heat. I just don't know if it's worth the money. And by the way, this video is completely not sponsored by Dyson and I did purchase this tool on my own. So let's hope it wasn't a waste of money. For $500, I'm expecting it to be my hair straightener, my blow dryer, my boyfriend, my therapist. <laughs> I want a lot out of this thing. And I will be trying this item on both curly and straight hair. So if you have either of those, you're in luck. I'll be showing everything today. Maybe I'll even do a little strip tease. Who knows? I don't know. Maybe I'll feel a little frisky. Woo. Here she is. Y'all have seen it before. I don't think I need to go over much with this, but if you don't already know what this tool is, it claims to bring your hair from wet to straightened in one step. So that means if you have curly hair, wavy hair, or naturally straight hair, it'll bring your hair from wet to straight without the use of extreme heat. And it claims to not be damaging at all. Now, I did read the website and it claims to not be damaging only when you're using the wet to dry setting. It does have damaging qualities when you are using it on dry hair. There is a little disclaimer on the website that says that, that leads to another section that says, only when you're using it on wet to dry setting is it not damaging. So that is important to note, but I think most people are using it on the wet to dry setting anyways, so it should be fine. And in case you're wondering how it does not cause any damage, apparently it doesn't use a lot of hot heat. It actually uses quite cool air to straighten your hair and uh, the direction of the airflow helps straighten the hair also. It's pretty much the same function functions as any Dyson hair tool, right? Kind of. I will say it's a lot lighter than I was expecting. So that's great. I don't feel like my arm's gonna snap off when I'm going like this with it. Cause I like to get really crazy with my irons and shit. So if you ever wanna play like a little, I don't know, a game with it. What the fuck am I talking about? Um, This little mechanism opens it, boom. There's about one, two, three, four, five thingies on here, buttons. You can turn it on, you can push the cold button, you can push the very hot button. Um, You got some air settings, you got some a shine setting, you got an on and off switch. Perfect, normal, amazing. I don't feel like I'm gonna press the buttons when I go like this, so that's great too. I will say that the cord is quite long and usually they annoy the shit out of me because they're like this long and it's like, what are you gonna do? Nothing. I don't know why that just scared the shit out of me. Let's finally try this thing out. I'm sorry for making you wait. My bad, my bad. All right, we are starting off with my straight haired client today and I'm just gonna prep her hair like I usually do. I'm gonna first apply the Ex Mondo Balm Repair Leave-In Cream called Recalibrate all over her end. No, her ends and mids. And as you can see, she doesn't have pin straight hair. She does have a little bit of a natural wave to her hair. So she has some texture in there. It's not too thick, it's not too thin. It is color treated and she does have that wave pattern in there. So you should be able to get a good idea from this if it's gonna work on you by seeing what happens on this texture here. But if you have curly hair, we'll get to that. I'm gonna also put some force field heat shield on the hair. You know what? I'm not gonna do that because apparently this is not causing any damage and we do not need heat protectant. Dyson did not say that you don't need heat protectant, but if it doesn't cause damage when it goes from wet to dry, then I don't need it, right? And since her hair is getting dry, I am going to spray her down with water because you need it very wet. If you wanna get wave or curl out of the hair, it's important that you start with very wet hair before you then dry it with either a round brush or the Dyson Air Straight or whatever you wanna do. God damn it, why are these bottles never full with water when I need them? Hold on. Okay, I got water. I got water, we're all good. God, I'm in a good mood today, woo! Can you believe it? I'm in a good mood today. Me, Brad Mondo. It's so corny when people talk about themselves in third person. Brad Mondo, like, I'm not a fucking character. Well, Brad Jondo, strong Rondo. Also, people out there who call me Brandon, please stop. <laughs> My name is not Brandon, it is Brad. I don't know why that happens, but it happens all the time. My name is not Brandon Rondo, it's Brad Mondo. I'm very interested to see how this is going to dry the root area. It's never easy to get the root area with products like these. Let's open her up, crack her open. Ooh, that was hot. And let's turn her on to the wet to dry setting. Um, 
Uh, all right. I'm impressed. What? She doesn't have difficult hair by any means, but let me just show you closer up. I mean, this looks really good. It only took three passes. It was quite easy. And I will say her hair looks flat ironed. That is impressive. I will say also that, ooh, ooh, it is quite hot. It is definitely not heatless. <laughs> there is kind of like plates in here. They do warm up. They are radiating heat, but they are not directly touching the hair, which is very interesting. This tool is currently at 285 degrees while it is styling your hair. I'm not exactly sure how it's not causing any damage. And I did look at Dyson's website and read an article that they have. It's still not really clear how 285 degrees is not causing any damage. If you claim things like that, you do have to prove it or else it's false advertising so i'm sure they did some kind of study to prove it so i guess i'll go with it i mean this is also doing both at once it is blow drying and straightening so you do a lot less passes with the heat and it keeps some of that volume intact as you dry it but i'm gonna keep going and see if i have any other opinions so far I will say you guys, it is hot. If you put your hand next to it while it's blowing air, it burns your hand a bit. And if you touch your hair right after drying it, it is very hot. I don't know why, I was expecting almost cool air to come out of here. I mean, I should have known it wasn't cool air because it says 285 degrees, um, but I just wasn't expecting that it would be this hot. It definitely feels hot. Have I made that point yet? Like, it's not cold. Okay, that's nice. So you guys just hear that? The fact that this turns off when you put it down and leave it there is really fun exquisite like that is gorgeous. That is <laughs> so far my favorite feature about this product. And then if you pick it up, it turns back on by itself. And when you close the iron, it increases the amount of airflow. Put that back down. We need that in a blow dryer for professionals. Like that's insane. I'm trying to finish this entire side of her head just to see how long this takes me. So far, the fact that it's blow drying and straightening at the same time, it is not taking very long at all. And it's very straight, but let me keep going. Okay, another thing I'm noticing that is different in my experience than from what a lot of people said in their reviews is that you can't get any kind of like bevel on the hair. Like it's only gonna be straight. It's definitely f straight, <laughs> but I just gave it a bevel and it worked quite well. All I did was just bend this towards her face like I would with a flat iron. It's looking really nice. I honestly went into this being like, I don't know. Like I, I just really don't think I'm gonna like it. Like I just don't really see the point, but I'm seeing the f point. I can honestly say I've never used a tool like this that makes hair pin straight like a flat iron would in just one step from wet to dry. Like this is wild. Like it is actually straightened. I will say the tool doesn't hurt. I mean, it doesn't hurt. It's like, it's like choking. Like what is it? Like what? A what am I talking about? Tools don't usually like hurt me, but what I mean to say is that this is not heavy. It doesn't feel clunky. It doesn't feel annoying. If you know what I mean? Like it feels kind of like easy and fun. The hair feels really great. It's very shiny and it's super fun. Flat. I did about three or four passes on the hair to make it this straight. I also used the higher heat setting, which is 285 degrees. You could probably get away with using the 230 degree setting. I think that was it. If I'm wrong, I'll put it on the screen. But yeah, there's also a boost setting. I'm interested in trying that before we switch over to the curly hair because that is a very, very hot setting that makes it even more smooth. So let's try that. Okay, I mean, yeah, it definitely made the hair even flatter, just like super flat. I think in the directions, they recommend to, let me read the directions again. Put the on, doesn't say it. I'm pretty sure somewhere it said to use the hot, hot setting on curly hair to make it really flat. I don't see anything in here. So I might've made that up. I do often make things up in my head, little scenarios and little events. So who the fuck 
knows but um this looks amazing if you have hair like this and you like your hair straight with one little easy step i think you might have a new best friend but let's keep trying stuff out and i'll give you my pros and cons list at the end that is crazy hello miss curly why is your face so white go out in the sun babe all right we're doing the same thing we're prepping with recalibrate bomb repair leave-in cream i like to use a lot for curly hair makes it nice and slippery and sexy and smooth the perfect base for a nice blowout oh she has some beautiful curls Damn. I have been searching for the perfect curly hair mannequin for years, you guys, and I think I might have found her. Now, super important that when we blow dry curly hair, when we're trying to get it really straight, it needs to be sopping fucking wet. Otherwise, you will end up with frizz. And that is what I call wet wet. Not just wet, she is wet wet. Let me try and do a middle part, but we all know I do nothing straight. Everything is very gay that I do, so I can't do a middle part very easily. But I think I got it today. I'm gonna put this on the 285 degree setting like we just did on the other hair. That's two passes. Okay, that is three passes. The roots are still very curly. I don't really know how I'm supposed to get these roots. I'm gonna try just putting the heat on and blow drying the roots with some tension because usually that works. I definitely got the roots dry by bringing in some tension with my hands and using that as just a regular kind of blow dryer. The cool part about this and the way it straightens the hair is by directing the airflow downwards on both sides of the hair. Where usually when you're using a blow dryer, you only get airflow directed on one side of the hair and not the other. So you end up with the frizz underneath the hair. Whereas this is kind of just flattening it. You know, it's a straightener um, with air. So that's also very unique to this product that. I have not seen before. Does her hair feel super soft and smooth like it would with a blow dryer? No, usually you need very extreme heat in order to do that. I will say though that her hair is decently straight. Whoa, babe. Put your head up. It's not like flat iron straight. I do not believe this tool is going to give you that look. This is going to be more of that like puffy, natural, straight look. Almost like half natural, half straightened, if you know what I mean. But let me keep going. I definitely don't feel any like tugging or snagging on the hair either, which is a big A plus. I'm sorry, but there's just no way that this is causing no damage to the hair. Like my fingers hurt from holding the hair. It is hot as fuck. Somebody understands better than I do how that's possible. Let me know down below. I'm very interested to understand because what the fuck? It's fuck. Hot. When it comes to um, curly hair with this thing, I could get the hair way straighter and way silkier, way smoother with just a round brush and a blow dryer. It would probably cause more breakage and damage that way, but um, it would be faster. It's kind of a toss up, you know? It's like, do you want it faster or do you want less damage? Do you want it to look better or do you want less damage? I don't know. Sometimes it's difficult because there's also a lot of hair products that can reverse damage now. So I don't know. Dyson, if you're watching this, one of the critiques I have right now is could you just put like a little stopper at the end of here somehow so that the hair doesn't like go out of the straightener? Cause sometimes it goes like this and it falls out on the side. And I just feel like there's such an easy way to fix that. But I could also be very wrong and I'm sure you've looked into it before, but it would just be so nice that the hair didn't fall out as you went through it, you know? So this is what we've been able to do so far. It's pretty straight. The fact that it went from this to now this with just this blow dry thing, straightener thing is cool. I mean, could I have made it straighter for sure with a blow dryer for sure? Her hair feels pretty dry. I mean, you're applying heat to the hair, so you're gonna, it's gonna feel dry, but you know, it's straight. I don't know. I'm not as impressed with how this works on curly hair. But what we're gonna do now is we're gonna use some Viper smoothing oil because that's what I would do in this case if somebody's hair was really, really dry. I would apply some oil and go back through it to get things even softer and silkier. And now what I'm gonna do is use the very high heat setting that does cause damage to the hair um, and see how smooth I can actually get this.
That is the hair after the boost setting and it's a little bit flatter, but not by a lot. It feels smoother definitely from the oil as well. I don't know how many people want to wear their hair like bone straight when you have curly hair because when you have curly hair, it tends to be extremely dry and giving that bevel to the ends really helps refine the look. It just looks like, <gasps> Give me some body, give me some movement. I don't know, I don't love it. All right, let's wrap this up. My pros include, it's actually more quiet than their blow dryer, which I love. I hate that loud noise that comes from blow dryers. It irks me, I hate it, it's uncomfortable, it's annoying, so that's great. It's super easy to use and intuitive. There's really no learning curve. You can just use it right out of the box. I'm obsessed with the auto turn off. I cannot <laughs> express that enough. And I was not gonna put that on this list because it's such a small thing but it's such a great thing this device works great on straight hair and it's your one-stop shop to get your hair from wet to perfectly pin straight in one step and for that it's awesome the device is actually quite lightweight even though it's a little bit bulky it's pretty light and it's awesome that it's just one step. You get your flat iron and your blow dryer in one. And lastly, Dyson claims that it will not damage your hair on the wet to dry setting. So that's also awesome if it's true, but it does seem too good to be true. Okay, now for our cons list. We have to start off with the price. $500. If you blow dry your hair once a week for an entire year, that comes out to about $9 a blow dry, which is not good or bad. With these tools, you have to think about how many times you're gonna use it and for how long you're gonna use it for. Are you gonna have this around for five, 10 years? I know I've had some of my hair tools for 10 years and they still work great and I paid a lot of money for them, but if you're using a tool once a week for a very large extended amount of time, the price actually might not be that bad. So this is kind of a middle of the pro and con list. It's like, if you can justify the price, I think it's worth it. And if you can't, and if you're only gonna use this like five to 10 times and then put it in the drawer and never see it again, then it's definitely not worth it. Next, it doesn't work great on textured hair. I'm just not convinced. It's a much longer process. I still think you need to use that a high heat to get a smooth blowout. I mean, unless you're okay with just like not having a great looking blowout with completely just pin straight ends, I guess this is fine for you. I don't particularly like that look. So I would not use it for um, very textured curly hair. I would probably only use this on hair that is straight or very lightly wavy. Next, it only has one function. It literally just straightens hair from wet to dry. Most tools are multifunctional. This one, you just get one thing and one thing only. And there's no chance you're putting a curl in the hair with that. It's one tool, one function. I think it's for a very specific crowd of people. It's also quite hot. My hand is still very warm from using that tool. It is not cool air and honestly, Honestly, I hate burning my hand, running something through the hair multiple times. Like I like using brushes because I don't have to actually touch the hair. But with this, you do have to touch the hair in between passes. So my hand hurts. That's annoying. And lastly, if your hair is not naturally straight, it does take a very long time to dry the hair. Much longer than it would with a round brush and a blow dryer if you can get your technique down. I just found it to be like very tedious and very boring and it's so you have to do these very slow passes. I don't like that. I want to be entertained. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. But those are my pros and cons. Overall, I would recommend this to people that have naturally straight hair or naturally very lightly wavy hair who want just one single step in their hair styling routines and love to wear their hair pinned straight and are willing to shell out $500 for the product. I think for you, it's a great product and um, I'm into it. I definitely don't hate it at all. I won't be using it probably in my professional career, but I don't think it's built for that. And yeah, I think it's an exciting piece of technology that could be great for a small crowd of people as mentioned before. Well, I hope you guys like that review. I always love reviewing Dyson products because I love a good moment of innovation and technology. If you wanna check out my innovation in my technology, you can check out the products I use in today's video linked right down below or go to xmodelhair.com to shop my hair color and my hair care products. That's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life and I'll see you next time. Bye.